friends <coughs> welcome to geek guys today we have discuss about great tech topic remember the days when palm trio 650 was launched maybe many of guys here won't know about palm 65 but i would like to tell you that it was the first smartphone which was launched in the era of modern day technology from the launch of palm Trio 650 till the launch of iPhone X we have so many smartphones and there were so many smartphone companies which launched different type of smartphones with a different experiments and different categories but some companies survived some didn't as we know there were a lot of companies which tried to launch smartphones in India outside India but they didn't survive and some got lost like the BlackBerry they got lost Nokia which was a big company they got lost due to the iphone and other companies but nokia has returned with their new smartphones but uh, as far as blackberry is concerned it's totally lost as per the latest report it is known to us that 61% market share of smartphones has been down do why because now it is believed by the tech experts that smartphone market is saturated and there will be more downfall in the smartphone market but as for the xiaomi and the samsung is concerned they are gaining the market and they have succeeded to earn some profit including iphone but smartphone market is uh, in its loss because it is saturated now as you know xiaomi is launching new phones day by day samsung uh, is going to launch new phones and apple has already decided to launch two phones per year but as per as a smartphone customers are considered it is a bold thing now because every phone is like the previous phone and every phone which is launched is nothing more than the previous phone as we know in the 2070 it has been observed that only one thing has been done and that is a uh, bezel-less screen has been introduced in the market of smartphone but android is same iphone as far as iphone x is concerned it was phase unlock in the iphone x but there was nothing new it was like the previous iphone like iphone 7 and it was only bezel-less and some improved camera functions with the audio ai which is in its earlier stage so friends if any company wants to get its market share more they have to launch a different kind of smartphone definitely with some difference and with some different notch here lg and samsung and planning the, the same as per the report samsung had already confirmed its launch of i uh, s9 and s9 pro but really s9 and s9 pro is nothing more than the s8 it is improved with uh, in the matter of camera software and hardware and some face detection and iris scanner but the concept is same there is nothing new like which could be as which could be said as a wow factor so friends there is a another option or i could say there is another planning which is samsung doing that is the launch of galaxy x which is a foldable smartphone which could be a different thing and which could help samsung to gain the market and which would be, be our wish to buy that smartphone but that should be perfect and economical too because iphone x was different but it was very costly and an average person wasn't able to afford it that's why the market of apple has gone very very far and they have lost a lot of market share so friends here in this video you are watching some new concept of smartphones like a drone phone and galaxy x and foldable screens these are the videos which have, I, i have collected for you from the youtube which have gone very viral concepts about foldable screens galaxy x and as well as drone phone enjoy it thank you
that one comes with a 6.2 inch display even that one is pretty much impossible to use with one hand okay but larger displays mean better productivity right well yes they they do and this is what samsung is trying to solve with the galaxy x so the galaxy x will essentially be a small tablet so think of it as an ipad mini for example that folds into a smartphone into a smaller smartphone when you need something easier to use and then unfolds back into a tablet when you need something with a larger display now samsung has been working on quite a few flexible displays for many years now so in fact they showed us their first flexible display prototype back in 2011 so seven years ago essentially and of course that they've been working on these displays for a few years before they publicly showed the prototype so essentially samsung has been working on flexible displays for almost 10 years now and since then samsung has even showed us actual concept videos of how they believe and how uh, they would want this to work, the Galaxy X essentially. So a tablet that folds back into a smartphone when you need something that's a bit more portable. And then apart from the concept videos, we've even seen some leaked patterns from Samsung on how the Galaxy X would look like and how the Galaxy X would work. Uh, so some patterns showed a widescreen tablet that actually folded in half, and then others actually many others showed us a regular smartphone that folds in half to make it more, I don't know, easier to transport it seems. So this kind of reminds us of those old clamshell smartphones from back in the day. And then a new patent, by the way, has also been uh, leaked recently. It was posted by Let's Go Digital. Uh, and this one actually shows something very similar to the previous patents, but this time this is a in a much more finalized form, so to say. So we can see that this phone has some very noticeable top and bottom bezels, by the way. Uh, but then you can also see the hinge mechanism on the sides that Samsung has also patented individually. So Samsung has multiple patents on this hinge and we can see pretty much the exact same hinge design in this latest patent as well. Now the famous DJ Ko, the, the president of mobile communications at Samsung, he confirmed that the Galaxy X will be coming in 2018 and they're still having some issues that they're working on, uh, solving soon essentially, and once those issues are solved, the phone will be released. Uh, but this video is called Samsung Galaxy X Unveiled because, you know, this is the main thing that I want to talk about in this video, and this is something that I haven't talked about yet. The fact that according to quite a number of sources and reports from various tech websites, uh, the Galaxy X has been in fact unveiled to a small number of private viewers at CS 2018. So what does this mean? Well, apparently Samsung showed a foldable smartphone with a display size of around 7.3 inches, so almost as big as an iPad Mini, which is 7.9 inches, by the way. And they showed, uh, they showed the viewers essentially two different models of this phone. One that folds inwards, so like this, and one that folds uh, outwards, basically the other way around. And this is very, very interesting. The fact that Samsung showed the two very different folding mechanisms and here's why I think this is a major, major detail. Okay, so first off, I don't see Samsung adding a second display on the back of the Galaxy X, at least not with the first generation. So what this means is that the Galaxy X would essentially fold just like a book. So this is a book. So when you fold it on the inside, essentially, just like a regular book, you won't be able to read what's, you know, what's in the book, essentially, just the cover. Uh, because the book will be closed and on the back, it will just have the cover and that's pretty much it. But when you fold it on the outside, so essentially like like this, you'll have two faces, two displays essentially for that for that smartphone. So this would make the device usable um, in you know a small form uh, in, in small in a small form factor. Whereas folding it inwards like this would make the Galaxy X more durable when it comes to drops, for example. Now I would personally go with well neither of them to be honest. Uh, that's because Samsung should honestly make the hinge foldable in both ways. And that way, when you're transporting the Galaxy X, so to say, you would fold it inwards, uh, and when you want a smaller device, not a 7.3 inches tablet, a usable smaller device, you would fold it outwards, and then you would have, you know, a display on each side. So you would have something that's much, much smaller and easier to use. Now, the camera obviously would be a bit trickier to use, both the front and the back facing camera, obviously, for obvious reasons. So I'm quite, I'm quite curious to see how Samsung implements this in both hardware and software. Now in terms of the release date, DJ Ko gave a statement to Korea Herald that they're still having some durability issues. Now most likely these are with the display and not the hinge because obviously you need to fold the display itself as well, not just the hinge. Uh, and you know, folding the pixels is something that folding the pixels over and over every single day, I don't know how many times, isn't something that is gonna last you for, for a long time. So this is probably something that Samsung is still working on fixing. Um, and, you know, 2018, re the 2018 release date is not 100% confirmed because of that. However, even if it doesn't come in 2018, 
that's still pretty good since it only means that Samsung is trying to make a high quality product, a high quality Galaxy X. Not trying to, they're not trying to rush something out for the sake of making something interesting that consumers would buy. So if this, if this is the case and it's not released in 2018, I do expect an early 2019 announcement, possibly at the MWC. So either a 2018 uh, announcement and release or a 2019 announcement at uh, MWC and obviously then a 2019 release as well. But as a conclusion, the Samsung Galaxy X is indeed going to be a truly revolutionary smartphone. So at some point in the future, the line between smartphones and tablets would be pretty much erased and we would have scalable devices. So a small smartphone that unfolds into a larger tablet, which would, uh, it, which if attached to something like a stand, would turn into a full desktop computer. And we've also had, by the way, speaking of interesting stuff, we've also had some reports that Apple and a few other manufacturers, possibly LG and even Google, are already working on their own versions of a foldable smartphone. So this is where the future is heading towards, and I'm really, really looking forward to that. But yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about the Samsung Galaxy X? Do you think it's a great idea? Do you think it's not? Uh, if Samsung implements the inward uh, folding mechanism, so essentially having a, uh, a clamshell smartphones that's touchscreen and display on both sides essentially, do you think that's kind of useless because, you know, you're paying way too much for just a phone that folds and provides you protection from drops on the back because you don't have a display on the back when it's folded? So do you think that's a bad idea? I pretty much think it is because you won't be able to use it unless it's unfolded. So hopefully Samsung fixes this with a final release and we'll be able to fold the Galaxy X in both ways. That would make the most amount of sense. Uh, but yeah, if you wanna see more interesting leaks and rumors episodes and more interesting tech videos like this one, definitely subscribe to the channel and also enable notifications by tapping on that bell icon. That way you'll be notified whenever a brand new video comes out. But yeah, this has been pretty much it for this one. If you guys like, if you have enjoyed it, let me know. I'm Daniel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Zone of Tech, signing out. Cheers.